smoking is a, a nightmare if you're thinking of a tummy tuck. So ideally, it's six weeks. Well, doctor specific, I think I would. I think it's probably safe to say. Um, so better better speak to you know the doctor to see what they say. But I, if you're asking me, I'd say six weeks before, um, and then at least two weeks afterwards. You've got to get it healed basically. Once it's healed, you can do what you want. But if you start smoking for eight weeks, you probably start smoking for good. To the extent, Charlotte, that I would say to you, if you cannot stop smoking, do not have the surgery. And I know people will say, oh, you've got it in for smokers. Oh, um, you know, postcode lottery. Uh, and, and people get up in arms when you say this in the NHS, when people are having cardiac surgery, they say, we're not going to do cardiac surgery on smokers. They're not doing it to have a go at smokers. They're not doing it to have some kind of lottery and rationing. They're doing it because... Actually, I don't know about cardiac surgery, but certainly this sort of surgery, which is, you know, not going to harm you if you don't have it. The harm that you're going to come by having surgery if you are still smoking is worse than actually not having the surgery. So I would say to people, if you because, you know, you can say I'll stop smoking and then still smoke. But if you do that, it can be really bad. And it can be really bad because of that word you just said there, Charlotte, necrosis. So necrosis is basically death of skin. And um, it, it pre presents as basically black skin, a scab. Um, you know, a scab is officially necrosis. You know, if you fall off your bike and, and graze your arm, you get a scab. That's necrosis. And the thing about a tummy tuck is you close it really tight. You've got to close it tight. That's the whole point. You want it closed tight uh, because if you don't close it tight, you're not going to be happy. So you've got to close it really, really tight. Do you remember a minute ago I was saying about the stress relaxation? Because it gives. So you've got to close it overly tight that you can't even walk when you have a tummy tight. You're all bent over double. You can't even walk properly because, you know, stress relaxation phenomenon, the, what I was talking about earlier with a tissue expansion, you know, when you put skin under tension, it grows more skin. So you have to cl cl close it under maximal tension in order to get a good result. If you get wound breakdown, can you imagine it? Nightmare. Nightmare. So necrosis... And wound dehiscence, wound opening up. Um, so necrosis is basically that skin dies. And every time you have a cigarette, you're reducing the blood supply to the skin. And when you do a tummy tuck, when you close the wound, you're undermining all the way up to the rib cage, and you're pulling that skin down, and you're you're interrupting that blood supply because you have to undermine all the way up to the rib cage in order to release it to pull down. If you don't undermine, you can't get it down. So because you're undermining the skin. You're taking the blood supply out from underneath the skin. So it's getting it all from the top. And so the worry is, the tighter it is, the more difficulty that blood is going to have to get through to that end, to the skin right by the wound, to get that wound healed. And so that's why people don't do liposuction to the upper flap, because they worry about that interrupting the blood supply. Some people do, but some don't and that's the reason they don't because you worry about that skin not healing and that wound not healing and if that wound doesn't heal i mean it might be just a little bit of here and there a little bit of a scab here and there officially you could call that necrosis but that's a bit of a you know it sounds quite alarming that word to use that word for it but you can get catastrophic um wound breakdown and necrosis and the only time i've ever seen it has been in smokers I'm not saying that all smokers get catastrophic problems, but I'm saying the only time I've seen catastrophic problems in um, uh, breast lifts, breast reductions, tummy tucks, face lifts, any of these operations where you close the wound under tension, you can get catastrophic wound healing problems uh, if you don't give yourself the best chance for healing. Smoking, you are really not giving your best chance for healing.